He's a monster. Now what if I go How much? into your belly for the Valsalva? <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> Maximum bracing. What's up everyone, Alan Thrall here with Jordan Feigenbaum, hey. owner, operator of Barbell Medicine. Jordan, go ahead and introduce yourself. I, Who are you? Oh, I'm Jordan uh, with Barbell Medicine. You couldn't tell because we have the same shirt on, but <laughs> we need a beard length one. Uh, anyway, yeah, so uh, medical doctor, powerlifter, coach, and we're gonna be talking about a very important topic. Yeah, so if you guys haven't visited the Barbell Medicine YouTube channel, Jordan frequently, once a week, every Tuesday, does Two Minute Tuesdays where he covers, briefly covers a topic about strength training, programming, health, nutrition, yeah, stuff I, like that. I have like a 900, a 900 batting average right now, I think we're like 10 weeks in, and I've got nine for 10. So I feel like it's pretty good. I've been traveling, and I get one week off. He's kind enough to do a Two Minute Tuesday for this YouTube channel. So, let's get started. Okay. My question, Wait, are we, are we gonna put a, are we gonna put, I'm just looking up at the distance. Are oh. we gonna put a, a timer up? Hmm. Oh, oh. This will be a three part two minute Tuesday. <laughs> okay, so the question is, bro, how many calories should I be eating a day? Well, what do you wanna do? I wanna get jacked. I wanna look like Doug Young. Doug, okay, uh, so, the easiest thing to do um, is you're gonna have to figure out what you're eating now, and that's gonna inform you on what you should and what you should do next. So you can do a three-day kind of food journal where you're tracking what you're eating, ideally without changing anything. So you would write everything down or plug it in My Fitness Pal or another app like that. It gives you your general macronutrient intake and average calorie intake over three days. And then if you want to gain significant amount of muscle mass, you're gonna need to be in a caloric surplus. So if Previously, during those three days and before you weren't really gaining weight, then by definition, you were at maintenance level of calories. So then you should add calories. Um, now, depending on how your food journal comes back, you may need to add protein, carbohydrates, and fat, or just one. It really depends. Uh, on average, an easy place to start is the one gram per pound uh, protein for body weight. And again, this is a general recommendation. People on the internet are gonna troll you and then me subsequently about that recommendation and say, man, that's not evidence-based. Well, actually it is, sure. Uh, Eric Helms uh, recently published a meta-analysis uh, suggesting that if you're trying to gain weight or lose weight, um, that you would be somewhere between two to 3.1 grams per kilogram body weight, which kind of fits into that range for protein. Um, carbohydrates and fats are really gonna be your energy sources and I don't really care where they're at as so long as they're not extremes. So I don't like the super low carb diet in general. I don't like super high fat or ultra low fat diet um, in this context. Especially if you're gonna be a caloric surplus, you would just add energy through carbohydrates and fat uh, to make sure your weight's going up. And how would you evaluate this? Every week, you're gonna see, is my average weight going up? And if it is, then you're on the right track, don't do anything. If it's staying the same or going down, then either you were non-compliant, not doing what you're supposed to, you know, said you were gonna do, uh, or you need to add fuel, because either your activity level changed or otherwise your caloric uh, output's changing uh, by some other mechanism, and so you just need to add more calories. So in short, three-day journal, set your macros based on that, add fuel, track regularly, and adjust as needed. Bro, how many calories should I be eating per day? Uh, Sir Allen, well, what do you want to do? I'm starting to get a little fluffy, about 240. I'd like to compete at 220s maybe. I want to get shredded. Okay, Uncle Rip's going to be un unhappy with this, but <laughs> three uh, minimum. You're right. So for the uh, for the ultimate summer shred for Sir Thrall, basically what we're going to do is do a three-day food journal, see what you're eating, okay, and if for the previous few weeks you were eating about that amount and you weren't losing weight, then again, by definition, you're in calorie maintenance. And so the easiest things that you need to be doing are is to reduce your energy intake. So reduce your carbohydrates, reduce your fats to a level where you start losing weight. On average, I found that to be like a 500 calorie sort of drop from what your food journal said. Um, other consideration is you may need to increase your protein uh, depending on what it was based on the food journal. So again, that one gram per pound body weight for protein is a pretty good recommendation. That's where I would set that. Uh, and then People will ask, should that be lean body mass or total body mass? And it really depends. If you're significantly overweight, and this is sort of a general rule of thumb, like if you 
may consider yourself really overweight, then probably you may fall in that category and you can use your lean body mass to calculate your protein intake. If you are not uh, uh, overweight, then you could just use your total body weight for, for protein intake. So set that at one gram per pound of body weight, then reduce your carbohydrates and fats uh, by a total of about 500 calories worth to produce that calorie deficit. Every week you're gonna see, am I weighing in a little less? Right? And, and you're gonna do that until you reach the desired level of leanness. So if you're not losing weight and you've been doing the diet, then either your activity level has changed by some mechanism, either less activity or, or you're somehow burning less calories, uh, and then you need to drop your intake again, uh, again or add more activity um, to get the numbers to move. Um, something people will say is, well, can I get stronger even though I'm losing weight? The answer is yes. If the programming is appropriate, then you should be getting stronger um, almost all the time. You know, obviously the, your uh, improvement's gonna decrease as you get more and more advanced, like the rate of improvement's gonna go down, but can you get stronger and cut? Sure. I think that's been a big disservice just being put out on the internet where you're saying, oh, if you're cutting, you can't, you can't get stronger. Well, that's certainly not the case. I mean, you know, just look around you. There are people doing this all the time, and I'd rather have a positive outlook on this than a, you can't get stronger. <laughs> yeah. Yo, Adrian! Adrian! So hey guys, thanks for watching, and always remember, Drain Untamed.